We're glad to have Ward 6 Alderman Corey Joe with us this morning. Corey, thanks for joining us here at Southside. Thank you for having me this morning. We've brought you in to talk about our series, Who's Next Door? Mm -hmm. And we want to talk about our community and how we can help. We're, we're a group of 750 people here at our church in, the, in Springfield and the surrounding area. How can we help our community? Well, you know, that's a very good question. I get that every day as an alderman uh, representing the urban core here in the city of Springfield. Springfield is made up of uh, many giving uh, people in our community, and I know many of those are members of your church. Uh, volunteerism is very important in our city as we deal with tightening budgets at City Hall. Uh, we need to think outside the box, reach outside into our community, and, and talk to uh, organizations, uh, churches here like Southside, and it's important that we that we give back, and it's it's through neighborhood outreach, it's through the various not-for-profits or charitable organizations that do good things in our community. There are many ways to, uh, to give back on a daily basis in the city of Springfield. Do you see a ripple effect when um, you accomplish a goal from one plan and then surprisingly something else positive comes from that? Well, it does. I, you know, when I ran for office uh, nearly four years ago, I, I wanted to uh, set the bar a little high and I wanted to do something a little different. I wanted to inspire residents to care about their neighborhoods. I think for so many years they, they looked at city leaders not paying attention or focusing on neighborhoods or older neighborhoods here in our urban core. And that's why we created the Ward 6 Fund, because it gave residents a platform. It gave them an opportunity to get involved on a smaller scale and then really see what those projects can do, bringing people together, building partnerships. So it takes relationships. It does. You know, it takes relationships. It takes um, it takes a, a, a voice speaking, talking to one another. But relationships are key, and, and I think you can do that through efforts and projects and volunteering in your community. It, it takes relationships. It takes working together, uh, speaking in a unified voice, uh, championing a cause, and uh, and not be afraid to get involved. Corey, this is something that we're going to pass out um, to our people here at Southside, mm -hmm. and it's a little chart where they can fill in people that live around them. So if, if I gave this to you sure. before you made your recent move, mm -hmm. would you be able to fill in the names of people? I would be able to fill in probably 95% of this, uh, this chart. It's important because uh, you want to get to know your neighbors on many levels because uh, you could be worried about an issue. I think it's important if you have members of Southside that are in, not involved in a neighborhood association to get involved in a neighborhood association if there is one available to them in their neighborhood because I think it's important to have as many eyes and ears on the street in our neighborhoods working with city leaders throughout all levels of city government on a daily basis. So I even before I became an elected <laughs> official, an alderman on the city council, I did get to know my neighbors. So finally, Corey, what are some specific ways that we here at Southside can help our neighbors? Well, really what you're already doing, but I think maybe looking at other opportunities with your summer uh, big block bash party. It's an opportunity to reach out within the community. There are many opportunities for volunteer efforts here in the capital city, but Southside is really leading the way. You're ahead of the curve because you've done so much in our community already. You know, during the summer months when I drive up and down MacArthur Boulevard, I always see uh, volunteers uh, taking care and tending to your uh, flower beds here on the campus of Southside. They're fantastic. And I know, I think I'm correct in saying they do that uh, out of the, the kindness of their heart and out of their own pocketbook. And I think that's incredible what they're doing. And if we could just take that effort and multiply that even by two or three times. Just think of the opportunities that we can do in terms of greening up and cleaning up our inner city. You're doing that here at Southside. You've been doing that. And so I want to commend the church. I want to commend the leadership. And I want to especially commend uh, the, the members of the congregation here at Southside because you're doing a fantastic job. Oh, we appreciate that. And Thank we appreciate you. you taking time this yes. morning to be with us and, and uh, add some insight into what we're talking about well, today. Well, thank you for having me.